At this point, we all know what DALI is. You give a text prompt and it generates an image for you and that is DALI. If you have been given a choice to create a successor to DALI, which creates 3D output, what would you name it? OpenAI has named it called Point E. I don't know why point, maybe because you have got points, so point clouds. So that's why it's called Point E. But nevertheless, we have got a new solution today from OpenAI, which is Point E, which is a system for generating 3D point clouds from text prompts. So you can give a natural language text prompt like in this case, you can just say I want a traffic cone and it is going to create a 3D point cloud of traffic cone with the RGB relevant RGB values. And that is exactly what we are seeing here. This is a very quick overflow. Very. This is a very quick overview of how their pipeline looks like. So you give a text prompt and that goes through a fine tuned glide and then that creates a synthetic view of what you want to see and that gets converted to a point cloud diffusion and then finally you have got a 3D RGB point cloud that you can point and visualize. So I've, I've created uh, also like I've not created completely from scratch. OpenAI has given us a helper script so I've put together a tutorial and at the end you would be able to visualize like this. For example, this is a yellow color bike so I can change the prompt to something like a traffic cone. So I can say a traffic cone and that is going to help us create a traffic cone. So as you can see, the traffic cone has been generated and we can view the same traffic cone in 3D using Plotly. And that is exactly what we are going to do in this video. So I've got a Google Collab notebook, which I'll link it in the YouTube description. And I'm going to quickly show you the overview of how the code looks like. What are the places that you need to change if you want to use this code for your own purpose. But this entire code, thanks to OpenAI. So they've got helper notebooks for us to start with. So I've literally used it. It's not a code that I have created from scratch. The good thing is they have also given you a blender rendering code. So you can take this 3D point cloud that you are generating using OpenAI point E and then you can send it to Blender and then visualize it to 3D using Blender, which I've not tried it, but I am really excited to try it out. So the text to point cloud model that they have given us is not DALI equivalent. It's a small worse quality. That's that's what they're calling worse quality, pure text to 3D model to produce 3D point clouds from text descriptions. This model's capabilities are limited, but it understands some simple categories and colors, which means I think their idea is probably to release a system like DALI using point E for 3D. But just for us to give a sneak peek, they have given a worse quality model for us to play with. And I have created a tutorial for this worse quality model. So let's get started with the tutorial. First thing is Google Collab Notebook. Just let's check if we have got GPU access. So this checks GPU. We have got a Tesla T4 machine, a 16 gig machine as lucky as we can get. Next thing is we need to install the library properly for 3D visualization. If you want to do the interactive visualization, you might need Plotly. But if you're fine with visualizing it on a 2D, like different sides, top view, front view of 2D, then you do not need it. The next thing is we need to clone the repository of point E from OpenAI repo GitHub repo. Next, enter the repository point E is pip install dash E dot, which is to install everything in the current folder. And once the installation is successful, we need to import all the required libraries. This is all we need to create a 3D point cloud. And you can see that we have got torch for PyTorch. We have got the progress bar TQDM and then we have got all point E related uh, imports. Then we need to initialize the models that we want to use. As you can see that there is a base model that has been used It's a base 40 million parameter text wick model and that also in the same models code you can see that one is a model then second is the upscale model upsample model and then the relevant checkpoints are being downloaded. Once you have that thing you can use point cloud sampler to create a sampler here and you can also see what kind of uh, the auxiliary channels that you want and the number of points that you want on all these parameters are defined here. The next is very simple. We are quite familiar with that, which is to create a give a text prompt and based on which the model is going to condition on. 
and then we are going to use the model to create our output which is the samples that we produce here and then we can use a sampler uh, and we can say uh, take the samples that we created and use the sampler and output it to point cloud and that point cloud is finally visualized in 2d and that 2d if we want to visualize it in 3d we can use the plotly graph objects go uh, you can also use plotly express if you do not want to use plotly so we are using plotly dot graph objects as go and then we are creating a plotly figure and inside that it is a plotly scatter 3d plot we need x y z important items and also we need colors which is what create a full 3d mesh that you currently see the point cloud and then finally you visualize it because i'm rendering it on google collab i'm using a renderer for a google collab if you are not using google collab you can just simply say show the figure name dot show and that would get us to somewhere this average um, i can say every prompt takes about like 10 20 to 30 seconds i would say like or okay 57 seconds exactly 57 seconds let me show you in real time one so i'm going to create a new prompt pika chu let's see if it knows a pikachu so i've created i've started it as you can see that it has started sampling it has started uh, creating the samples for us meanwhile i can take you to the paper and then show you some interesting examples that we have got so these are like quite complicated a corgi wearing a red santa hat a vase flower was of purple flowers a purple a pair of purple headphones a yellow rubber duck and as you can see the the image looks really good i don't know if you can literally take this and put it in a 3d printer because right now you are getting point cloud so it should be ideally doable but the fact that they have managed to do it is uh, indicating that the ideal path where all these diffusion models are going to take us is to other media like one is the music video side of the world the other one is taking the through 2d image to the 3d world and that is exactly what point e seems to be doing now at this point we have uh, we have reached the end here so we try to create a pikachu it took one minute approximately 60 seconds and we have got pikachu here so let's see how pikachu looks like so it, it, it has created pikachu but it has not given any color to pikachu because we did not give color to pikachu that's a shame so let me go ahead and then say yellow pikachu yellow pikachu pikachu is yellow always anyways so let me create that again and that will help us see pikachu in yellow color otherwise it would look quite bad i don't know will, will you like to see a pikachu that is not yellow in color i don't I, I don't know how it goes but overall this is quite an interesting model and you can see a lot of samples here and a lot of people have been starting to use it right now we are exploring only one of the example notebooks that they've given which is text to point cloud you can also use image to point cloud imagine like you can use stable diffusion create an image send that image to image to point cloud and then get it into 3d so that is another thing that i'm excited to try it out but this just got you can see that this just got released probably less than 24 hours ago so i just wanted to get this video out so that you can play with the model in and itself and this google collab notebook and this tutorial will help you do the same to get started with this point e model so the notebook google collab notebook and the point e repository will be linked in the youtube description so make sure that you check it out below the like button and now we have we, we are done with uh, this so right now i don't i don't think the pikachu looks great i would say at least um, but let's see how it looks in 3d so i'm going to go ahead and then run this once i run this and then i render it you can we can start seeing it in 3d let's see okay this okay this <laughs> this is how pikachu looks not i don't know if this is how pikachu looks it looks a little scary to me but uh, you can see that there is a 3d image Maybe Pikachu is not part of the model that it can create, but you can see that something like Pikachu has been created in 3D and uh, Pointy wants us to believe this is Pikachu. Anyways, that's the AI system at the start. We have seen how um, all these technologies like Stable Diffusion, DALI started, the place where it started and in just a couple of months, the place where it is now, it's unbelievable. So I expect like Point E 
to have similar growth. I still have uh, doubts over the name Point E, but again, Point E is what we have got. So OpenAI Point E text to 3D and image to 3D solution is here available for us. The required links will be in the YouTube description. Please check it out. Let me know if you find anything interesting using Point E model. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Peace.